Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elizabeth Davis, if you are new here. I make mostly fashion videos, makeup videos, and lifestyle vlogs, so if that's your vibe, then definitely subscribe. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, because today I'm doing a Q&A, so if you are here to my channel right now and you're new, then this is perfect, because you're going to get to know me a little bit and um, understand like who I am, why I started my channel, all that stuff. I have my iPad here and it has all my questions on it. The first question is, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? So that's a really good question. I started my YouTube channel because I used to be an Irish dancer and when I stopped I had no idea what I liked, what my interests were, what direction I wanted to go in with my life because I wanted to continue dancing but physically my body just didn't allow for it anymore so I had to make a complete career change and find a new hobby and a new passion and um, I started watching YouTube videos in my free time because like I actually had time to do that whereas before I was just always practicing or going to dance class or something and I started to like watch vloggers and I was like wow that actually looks like a lot of fun and um, I was like, I think I might actually really like doing that because, because I used to do like Snapchat stories a lot, which is kind of similar to vlogging and I just knew that like I was interested in it and that I liked doing it. So, um, YouTube kind of allowed me to like take that to the next level, which would have been like adding music and stuff to it. So that's essentially what has inspired me to start my channel and I think, um, the direction that my channel has gone has been inspired by other youtubers that I have discovered since I started my channel And I hope to continue to go in that direction. So that was like a really good first question I feel like um, who is the person you admire the most is my next question Like family wise, um, it would be my mom um, She and I have a really close relationship. I go to her for Anytime I need advice about absolutely anything, um, she's my stylist, she has taught me how to do my makeup, she has introduced me to almost all of my favorite YouTubers, um, she's full of wisdom and she's just like somebody that I want to be like so bad, so, or that I aspire to be like I should say, and she um, is just like my inspiration for pretty much everything. Um, if we're talking like celebrity wise or influencer wise i am obsessed with julia havens she is a youtuber i love her to death like if you follow me on instagram you watch my stories i'm constantly tagging her in like my story watching her youtube videos or like something that she inspired me to do and i tag her and i'm like hey julia look what i'm doing because i want to be just like you <laughs> just kidding but really i do love her so influencer slash celebrity wise i would say julia havens is somebody i really really admire somebody else asked when did you start youtube and why i already kind of answered the why but i started my youtube in june of 2018 so it's been about a year and a half um i feel like the first seven or eight months i kind of was finding my way and trying to decide what it was that i wanted to do on youtube and i definitely feel like i've gone in the direction mainly of fashion and vlogging and that's just probably the direction that i'm going to continue going in krista cruz who actually won the giveaway her question is what is your goal slash resolution for 2020 i would say i really this is going to sound so lame but my number one goal for 2020 was to live boldly and just be exactly who I am and not hold back. I mean, you know, obviously I have to be like appropriate in certain social situations, but as far as like putting myself out there and getting to know people, that's something that I really like didn't want to be afraid to do this year. What is your dream destination? <sighs> that's a really tough question. Right now, my dream destination is probably Spain. I've been wanting to go to Spain for like two, three years now. What type of eyebrow product do you recommend for a beginner? Hmm. Just like a regular eyebrow pencil, honestly, with a sharpener because um, you can just kind of like 
gently fill in your eyebrows and I would recommend probably so having like q-tips so if you make a mistake you can just kind of use it as an eraser what are your favorite YouTube videos to record definitely vlogs love doing vlogs um, I also I, I like to film fashion videos too um, it's a lot of work to film a fashion video and they make me like physically tired because I like change outfits so quickly which I know sounds stupid but um, it's kind of a lot of work but and I like to film hauls too even though like both of those are kind of a lot of work um, but definitely vlogs is like my number one thing I love to do vlogs love to edit vlogs like that's my favorite part of putting a vlog together is the editing aspect of it because I get to like put music to it and um, just show people what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis but try to make it interesting and I that's the biggest reason I love vlogging so much because I can try to make it interesting um, what got you to start your own business and what do you love most about it what challenges have you encountered so far hmm. so I'm suppose I suppose this person is asking like business as far as like my YouTube channel which I am not monetized I don't make money from it um, in fact I spend a lot of money to get my YouTube going I've done like the giveaway I'm saving for a camera like I I promote my posts on Instagram um, so I've spent my own money on it but like I would say that's sometimes how you get a business going is by investing in it um, and I, what I love most about it is watching it grow watching it go from I literally started with zero subscribers in June 2018 and as of March 2020 I have 600 so that's not a lot of growth compared to a lot of YouTube channels but for me like I really didn't pull in very many views when I first started and now I hit at least a hundred per video um, but a lot of times now it's getting up into the two and three hundreds which is really cool to see so watching it grow even just this like when I was growing very slowly and uh, started off very small to see how it's come to where it is now is pretty cool so that's the best part about it um, the challenge I've encountered so far is I want to get monetized and I'm like I feel like I put a lot of effort into it so um, I think it's like kind of trying not to compare myself to other people and where they're going and like their journey here on YouTube anytime you love something there's always gonna be something that's challenging about it even if it's very minor I mean there's always just gonna be a challenge with whatever it is you're pursuing top three places on your bucket list I'm assuming this person's referring to travel um, like countries or places that I want to go top three I would love to go back to New York City I've been there twice there's plenty of places that I would that I haven't been to that I want to go to as well but if I could go back to any place that I've already been it would definitely be New York City I also mentioned earlier that I want to go to Spain so that would be two and three I actually would love to go to New Zealand I think that would be the most incredible life experience ever like who in the world not very many people could like have been to New Zealand and I that's just something I would really like to do because I feel like it's such a a true gem in this world like it's beautiful the pictures I see like the people I've met from there and the accents and just like everything about it I, I just would love to go to New Zealand I think that would be the most incredible life experience that I could have um, I know I already mentioned three but I feel the same way about Cuba I've always wanted to go to Cuba um, I absolutely love Cuba I love the people I love the culture the music especially the music the food is oh my gosh the Cuban food is so good <laughs> I would love to go to Cuba and just meet a bunch of Cubans I think that would be the most amazing thing in the whole world besides going to New Zealand like those two things what is something that motivates you every day I have a couple of things but the number one thing would be my relationship with the Lord I'm a Christian if you don't know um, I have been a Christian my entire life I was raised a Christian and as I got older you know my parents obviously well not obviously because some parents don't force it to, down their kids throats but my parents allowed me to continue to decide. My parents allowed me when I got older to decide whether or not that was something that I was gonna carry over into my adult life. And I just I just decided to. Like I can't imagine life without Jesus. Like 
I try to imagine what my life would be like without him and I just can't even like go there in my brain like it just he's the reason why I do every single thing I do and I I mean I try to base every single decision I make around what God would want for me and what his plan for my life is and that's just like who I am 100 percent everything about me that you see that I'm wearing that I say that I do I mean I'm not perfect at all but I try to base everything around my relationship with Jesus Christ and that is my biggest motivation and I mean after that I don't need any other motivation from anything or anybody as long as I have Jesus Christ I don't I mean everything else falls into place okay this is my favorite question have you been in a life or death situation I I really thought about it and then I asked my mom I was like what do you think and she said one that I didn't even think about when I was in first grade this is so stupid I um, when I was in first grade our teacher handed out candy or somebody handed out candy I don't remember and I ate a Tootsie Roll and somehow it went down the wrong pipe and I choked on it and I literally could not breathe like I couldn't get a breath in I couldn't get a breath out I couldn't cough I couldn't talk nothing like full-on choking so I was like oh my gosh I don't know what to do like I wanted to go get a drink because I thought I'd never choked like that I thought I choked on spit I didn't realize that the Tootsie Roll was like lodged in my throat because I was only in first grade and I'd never choked before so I didn't know what, what was going on so I got up out of my desk and I like went up to my teacher and I still couldn't breathe and I like this was when I realized I couldn't talk I went and that's all I could do was like like that with my tongue and my teacher like jumped up out of her seat and like ran over to me and I think she was gonna take me to the office so they could do like the school office like the nurse so they could do the, uh, the Heimlich or whatever but this was all within like a three minute period and I'm like not able to breathe at all and I don't remember being scared which I feel like maybe when my teacher freaked out I got a little bit nervous but I think I just didn't want to scare her and I was like why is she so scared like I'm okay I know I'm okay like what's going on I, you know I was confused even though like I literally couldn't breathe I thought as soon as I got a drink from the drinking fountain that I'd be okay and as we were walking down to the office, um, the school office, the Tootsie Roll dislodged and I was able to like breathe again. But yeah, that was pretty scary and looking back on it now. And I remember being like, why can't I breathe? But I don't remember being like fearful, like holy crap, I'm choking, I'm gonna die. Like I didn't think that. Um, another time I had a life or death experience, totally different situation many years later. This was two years ago, I was coming home from Florida. It was the middle of January and we got a huge snowstorm in Cleveland, Ohio. And my flight in, got delayed out of Fort Myers like four times. So I was supposed to leave at like one or two in the afternoon and it ended up getting delayed to like seven. And then when I got to the airport, it got delayed again till like 10 o'clock because of the snowstorm in Cleveland. And it was really, it was really bad. Like it was like ice and wind and five inches of snow and dark outside and below you know zero out or whatever I don't know so we were trying to land and it was like so windy you could feel how windy it was in the plane so that wasn't fun and then we were about to touch down and then all of a sudden we just felt the heard the plane go whoosh, and then we went back up into the air like you we literally felt ourselves go back up in the air obviously you know change in air pressure and all that and everybody was like <gasps> everybody like went like that and then <laughs> we all nervous laughed because it was really kind of freaky and then the pilot came on and said that I don't know how planes work but basically I think what happened was the way the air like basically blew us back up into the air <laughs> and I know that sounds stupid that's not scientifically what happened but that's what happened basically so um, then we had to circle back around and then we kept trying to land and then we circled around again and then finally like the third time we were coming down and it was like boom 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 I mean you already know how it is landing can already be rough but this was like ten times worse and then when we touched down like I was like I was literally praying I was scared I was like oh my gosh I was like the only I think the only thing I really was scared of was like I don't get to say goodbye to my family and like what if you know I don't want them to be devastated if I die right now I literally thought I was gonna die and I went boom like the plane landed so hard like I mean it kind of hurt my tailbone because we landed so hard we literally slammed onto the ground and then 
like the whole entire plane shook as we were like slowing as the pilot was slowing it down it was it was wild obviously i survived but it was pretty crazy so yeah i guess you could say i've been in a couple life and death situations well guys i actually think i answered all the questions which i didn't realize i did but um that's about it for this video uh, i hope you enjoyed it and it was really fun i really like doing q a's so if you ever want to see another one let me know and uh, we'll do kind of the similar format where I have people ask questions in my YouTube comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.